This is a Sage uh, 930A communication test set. What it actually is, is a uh, test instrument for testing uh, old telephones, rotary, uh, touch tone, and it can also uh, test networks. It has very many features. It was a uh, $4,000 unit when they were new, and you can buy them for about $60 to $100 on eBay uh, today. Uh, they're really uh, ideal if you enjoy restoring uh, old uh, telephones. And uh, if you're going to buy one, though, you really need to make sure that it has two options installed. And that's option one, which is a digital receiver. And that allows you to test the dial mechanism on your vintage phone and a ring generator, which is option 13. These were not standard options installed at the factory. They had to be ordered. And if you don't have those two options installed, then this is really not of too much use in helping you restore an old telephone. So if you shop for one of these on eBay or some other source, make sure from the seller that those two options, 1 and 13, are installed. You can ask the uh, seller, if you don't have access to the machine yourself before you buy it, to look and see what options are installed. And you can tell him that uh, the seller to just press option menu button down here and then enter 94 and then press this button here and I don't know if you can read that but this tells us that we have option 1 option 9 option 10 option 13 and option 22 installed um, option 1 is the digit receiver that we need to test our dial and 13 is the ring generator which will help us uh, check out the ringers in these telephones. The other thing that you will need to uh, test old telephones is a cable with a Western Electric 310 connector uh, on the end. It looks like a stereo phone plug but it's not. Now I just found one cable on uh, eBay for about 10 bucks and I cut it in half and on one end I installed a standard uh, modular phone jack like this and on the other end I installed just two clips so I can hook those to the red or green wires of a phone that doesn't have a connector on the end or if it has the old standard four pin uh, plug used before the modular ones came out. Basically uh, with a couple adapter cables and options 1 and 13 uh, you're good to go. Okay next we'll uh, check out the digit receiver and uh, see how we can uh, capture the numbers that are dialed and then analyze them. I've got this phone propped up here on top so you can see the display as well as the phone. The first thing we have to do now that we have our trunk type set up is select uh, the add-on option 1 which we do by pressing the option menu and then we select 4 and enter which is kind of weird um, to get option one, but that's the way it works. Uh, you'll find that it's pretty handy to have a copy of the uh, operator's manual, uh, or at least uh, have some written notes to follow because uh, it takes a little while to learn the sequence. Anyway, we want to enter setup, and we want to set the receive parameters for the digital receiver, so we select parameters. And right now, uh, it's set up to enter the sequence into record one, 
it's set up for 18 digits. Uh, let's just change that to say 5. Uh, we're already set up for dial pulse, which is good. So we hit exit and then sequence. And 1 is for an immediate uh, test, which we'll do. Enter. Option menu. Exit. And then set up to receive. So now when I pick up the receiver on the phone, the um, machine should go off hook and it should record the digits. So it's off hook. We'll dial a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, and a 7. So when we hang up, we have our sequence stored in memory and now we can go to our setup, receive, and analyze and next we'll look at how to analyze uh, the digit sequence we just dialed. Okay, now that we have our uh, digits uh, in memory we can now analyze them. We'll push option menu and then we'll select analyze and we have our uh, digits and then uh, it measures on a dial pulse three different parameters. There's a cursor over the three and you can use the left and right arrows to actually move it to the four, the five, the six, the seven. So you can select whatever number you want to analyze we'll look at the three and we see that uh, the first parameter is break and it's at 64 percent that refers to the opening and the closing of the little read switches that are activated by the dial mechanism and 60 percent is uh, uh, kind of the ideal 64 percent is well within uh, spec now we use the up and down arrows to go to the next parameter uh, this tells us that it took uh, 2634 milliseconds to dial that number 3. And then our third parameter is the speed, which was 9.9 .9 pulses per second. Uh, 10 to 10.5 is the ideal range. So 9.9 .9 is just a tad slow, but still well uh, within specs in terms of... Um, being able to use that dial. And uh, we can then shift to the 4. Uh, you can see the 4 was right on it, about 10. And then uh, it broke at 64%, and it took 16.17 milliseconds to dial that. And you can do that for each number, and it tells you um, how well each uh, digit uh, that you dialed uh, performed. Now, these machines, uh, at least this one, uh, is pretty finicky. If it's very far out of um, spec, it's going to report an error or, or it will abort. What you'll find, though, is that in the real world, when you plug your old rotary phone into a landline that accepts uh, rotary uh, dial pulses, uh, they're pretty tolerant. They'll correctly dial a number even if your uh, dial is as slow as eight and a half pulses per second and uh, even if it's not breaking at exactly 60 to 65 percent. Um, so the final test of any dial mechanism is to actually plug it into a phone line and uh, test it that way. Okay, next uh, I'll show you how option 13, the ring generator, works on this phone. Uh, this is a uh, automatic electric uh, Model 80, also a uh, clone of the Western Electric 500 series phones. And uh, to test the ringer on these phones, um, you push this button here. It says dial ring. And... Uh, Make sure that it says ring here. Actually, you, you can scroll through uh, different things there, but you want it on ring. 
and then you push manual. Okay, it's not ringing. I can see it vibrating a little bit, but it's not ringing. Now, the reason it's not ringing, uh, since I've already worked on this phone, is because this phone was used on a party line, and the uh, standard frequency for ringers on a um, um, standard telephone line is 20 hertz. Party line ringers were set up to ring at different frequencies so that the various parties on a party line would have their own distinctive ring and knew when the call was for them and not for somebody else on the party line. So we can test that with this machine because we can change the frequency of this ringer. We do that by going down, pressing menu option, and then we would scroll up and down to bring up this option here, modify dial ring, which is option 13. And when I push the modify, it brings up another menu, level, frequency, timing, and we want the frequency. Okay, and we see the machine is set at 20, which is the standard for a uh, single line uh, 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 landline. So we want to change this to 50, which is I know is the frequency for this. And so we simply type in or enter 50 on this and then go back to dial ring and now it works. On this particular phone, also since it was a party line, you also have to have the yellow and the green connected together or the phone won't, uh, the ringer won't work. So I had to uh, kind of take this apart so you can see that. Nice old fashioned ring. Now there's one other feature uh, of these machines, which is a standard feature um, that can help you check out a telephone that you're working on, and that is uh, Send Tone. And that will tell you whether your audio or talk circuit is working. And this is Send Tone. And then um, you can turn it off or on, which is trunk. You can also uh, set the frequency of the tone to just about any frequency you want. It's set at 1,010 hertz right now. And if I take this phone off hook, you can now hear the tone. And you can also hear it here. So I know that the talk circuit or the audio circuit in this phone is working. <clears throat> so those are pretty much the three uh, features that you really would use most often with the uh, Sage 930. Um, add on option one, your digit receiver, to check out your dial. Um, Add on option 13, your ring generator, which allows you to test various ringers. And it's important to do that because these are seldom broken. So if it doesn't work, if your ringer doesn't work when you first get a phone, uh, there are usually two reasons it doesn't work. Someone disconnected the ringer inside because they didn't like it, uh, the noise, the loudness, especially on the old phones where you couldn't adjust the volume. Or... It's a party line ringer, and it just simply won't ring on a standard line. And, of course, the ringers often tell you what the frequency is, and if it's not called a straight line ringer or a 20 hertz ringer, then it's not going to work. And uh, usually the only way to fix that is to find a straight line ringer that fits your phone and replace the ringer. Or simply use the phone without the ringer and if you have other phones in the house they're going to ring anyway so a great little uh, test device uh, and uh, there usually are plenty of them on ebay at uh, pretty good prices just make sure you have that option one and option 13 installed